Hi Yarnabies, how are you today? Today I am going to do a... i turn that light off here. I'm going to do a, um, a beanie hat that is going to go with the sweater that I just made, the sweater tutorial I just made that was the Cruella de Vil inspired sweater. So I'm going to have do a hat to match. Okay, so I'm going to use the same um, yarn that I used for that, which is the Bernat Blanket in black and the Bernat Tweed in ivory, ivory tweed. Okay, I'm going to use a 10 millimeter hook. So let's get started. Okay, I'm just going to start with the tweed. I'm going to make a slip knot. Okay, and you're going to chain up three. One, two, three. You're going to go into your first chain right here, and you're going to do a slip stitch there, and then pull this all apart. Okay, you're going to chain up two, and then you're going to do nine double crochets in this space right here. Okay. One, two, Five. It's going to get a little bit tight in here. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. So I'll have ten double crochets all together because your first one's going to count as a stitch. Okay, now you're going to go to that first stitch and you're going to do a slip stitch. Okay, and chain up two. Okay, now you're going to go into that same stitch as the first double crochet and you're going to do another double crochet. Okay, you're going to go into the next space and do two double crochet. Okay, I'm going to pull out some more yarn here. Okay, Go in the next space, do two double crochet. You're going to do two double crochet in each stitch all the way around. you when you get to the other side. Okay, so I've got one more set of stitches to go. And you should have 20 stitches all the way around. Okay, go into that first stitch and slip stitch. Chain up two. Okay, that's what you should have so far. Now, you want to have about five, depending on the size of your head, um, approximately five inches across. So we're just about there. So we'll do one more row, and then we can move on to the rest. Okay, so 
you're going to go into that same stitch as this one. You're going to do a double crochet. You're going to go into the next one and do one double crochet. Go into the next one, do two double crochet. And fold some more yarn. Where am I going? That's two. Go to the next one, do one double crochet. Go to the next one, do two double crochet. Go to the next one, do one double crochet. So that you can do that all the way around. Just do two in the next, and then one in the next, and two in the next, and one in the next. All the way around. I will see you when you're at the other side. Okay, I've got one more stitch left. So you should be ending on a single, or uh, one, one double crochet. Then you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch. Okay. Now we're going to measure again. Okay, now we've got six inches. So now, if you have a larger head, this is going to be perfect. Okay, if you have a smaller head, you might want to uh, omit this last row. Okay, but don't forget that this is really, really bulky yarn. So this part here is what is going to make the size of your hat. Okay, because from this point on, we're going to be doing double crochets and making the whole sides of the hat. Okay. So this should be should be good. Okay. So now we're gonna chain up two. And now all we're gonna do we're gonna not put one in this chain or in this stitch again. We're gonna go to the next stitch. We're gonna do a double crochet. And we're gonna do one double crochet all the way around in each stitch. Okay. Just go on every stitch and do a double crochet. Then you'll start to see that this will start to bend down a little bit. All right. Okay, so do that all the way around, and I'll see you when you get back. Okay, so I'm at the end of that round, and you can see it's starting to curl. That's good. Okay. So I've got one more stitch left. And then you can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 And from this point out, you should have 30 stitches. Okay. Now do two double crochet, or two double crochet, <laughs> two chains. And then all you're going to do from this point out, because this, this yarn is, um, it's already pretty busy, you're not going to be doing any special stitches because you'll just lose it, lose the stitches in the pattern. Okay, so you're just going to, like, from this point on, you're going to skip this chain here. Like, you're not going to put anything in here. You're going to go to the next one. 
And all you're going to do is put double crochets in each stitch all the way around. And you're going to continue to do that for the length of the hat that you want. Okay, whether you want it slouchy or whether you want a beanie. Okay, what you're looking for is, because if you're going to put a, a, brim, a brim on it, or a, not a brim, a ribbing on it, you're going to want it to sit at about the top of your ears. Okay, so you're just going to keep on going um, for each round. <clears throat> and you're going to make it as long as you need it to get to the top of your ears. Okay, and when you're finished that, come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I'm finished this part of my hat and it goes, <clears throat> goes, when, what I decided to do instead of using the black Bernat, I actually found something that's even better. So what I did was I did one extra row on the bottom so that it comes to just over my ears. Okay, so what I'm going to use next is the Red Heart Fur, because I remembered that in the original um, Cruella de Vil, she had a hat on that had the fur on it, and I thought this would be perfect. So, um, I don't know if they make this anymore, but I know that there's the Go for Fur, uh, that should work too. So yeah, so let's get started on this. Okay, so we're just, just <laughs> we're just gonna do a yarn change now. Okay, so we're gonna put our fur on here. Now this is gonna be really hard for you guys to see. Okay, because it's gonna be black and it's all fuzzy and everything. Okay, so you do your yarn change the way you're going to do. But what I suggest is that you knot these two together at the beginning because this is very slippery yarn if you're using the fur. Okay, and then you can just hold this and, and um, sew it in or crochet it in at the same time. Okay, so you're going to chain one, go and, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to go into your first stitch. Oh, wait, hang on. You're not going to yarn over, okay? You're just going to go right in to your first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all two. Now, when you're using this fur, you make sure that you are going through both loops because if you miss a loop this whole thing is going to come undone. Okay so you got to really make sure that you are going through both those loops. Okay so go through your next loop right here grab your yarn pull it through yarn over and go through both loops. Okay, oops, where's my thing here, there we go. Go through into your next stitch, grab your yarn, pull it up, and it helps if you pull and tug it when you're pulling it up so that it gives you some extra room in here to be able to put your yarn through. Okay, so you grab your yarn and pull through both. Okay. And then you just keep going. Pull it through. Go through both. Okay. Because the worst thing that can happen is like it'll come all apart, but it's like when you figure out, oh, I've missed a loop. And trying to find that loop in here, oh, it's awful. <laughs> but 
but the effect that this gives is fantastic. I love it. Okay, go in the next loop. Grab your yarn. Pull it up a little bit. Loop yarn over and pull through both loops. Okay, now you're going to keep doing this all the way around and this is going to be your last round. Okay, try not to do these too tight. Like try and like, you know, be kind of not too loose, but don't like really hold on to it because it just makes it really hard to get it through these loops. Oops. Come on. There we go. Okay. Then you're going to do that all the way around and I'll meet you when you get back. Okay, now I'm going to stop this for a second because if you decide you're not going to use this fur, hang on, pull you out a bit. If you're not going to use this fur and you decide that you're going to use the Bernat blanket instead, which is absolutely fine, all you're going to do is find your end here. <laughs> that would help. Oh, that's not. Where's my end? Okay. All you're going to do is attach your yarn. Okay. Chain up one and do double crochets all the way around. And each stitch Okay, just do double crochets. Then when you get back here, you're going to do front post, back post, front post, back post, all the way around. Okay, and you're going to do two rows of that. Okay, so you can do it either way. And, uh, and it's going to look great. Okay. Okay, so I'm finished this all the way around. Now I just have to slip stitch into this stitch. Okay, now if you can't find where the stitch is that you started, find the, um, the very first stitch that you have that you can see here and slip stitch into that. Okay, then yarn over again, pull it through, cut off your yarn, cut off a little bit, like a little bit extra, so you have enough to sew in, and then put it through that loop, and pull. Don't pull too tight though, because this stuff will rip, and then it just goes all chaotic on you. Okay, and then you're going to weave in your end. And this again, when you're weaving in your end with this stuff, you got to be kind of careful because you got to make sure that you actually are getting it into some stitches. Because otherwise you'll just lose your tail. Okay, and it takes a little bit to get this out. I find if you if you go around and around like that, it will pull through. And sometimes it won't. <laughs> and if it doesn't, then you gotta pull this out and just try and get it through another way. There we go. Okay. Okay. And then just cut your yarn off a little bit here. Okay. Okay, now, what I like to do is I get a brush and um, I like to brush it out a little bit. So. 
I like to use, sorry, I've still got fur in here. I like to use a brush that has these. Like if you, I, I have used brushes like this, but sometimes it just rips out the fur. So if you use something like this, it's not so bad. And you just, I like to go back and forth like this and just brush it out. Because if you do this, it will bring, it will pull out or uh, loosen up some of the stitches. Oh, I have an end there. I got to cut off. And it will loosen up some of this fur and make it fluffy. And when you put this in a, um, a dryer on delicate, it will also poof up. Okay. You do that all the way around. And then your hat is done. Look at that. There. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this. Again, I would love to see what you've made and see how yours turned out and put it on my Facebook page, Crochet A on Facebook. And uh, I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye.